Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. This is going to be a bit of a different episode this week, but if you haven't seen the series before, basically what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. I'm filming this week's video a little bit early, so I'm filming this Monday morning instead of Tuesday morning uh, for two reasons. One is my boss is in town this week so we're gonna be going out to dinner Tuesday which means I'm not gonna have enough time to film and edit all just in the one day like I usually do and the other reason is because Ulta's 21 days of beauty snuck up on me like guys normally I try to do like a whole video going through the calendar and if I even if I can't do a video I'll try to do like a live stream or something but this actually started on Sunday and it totally went over my head and it wasn't until I even like saw the catalog in the mail that I was like oh it that's now <laughs> So what I really wanted to do was just quickly go through the 21 days along with some of the hot buys about what I'm going to be picking up and based on my experiences what I would recommend you pick up. It's not going to be as long as my other videos because those can be over an hour. I'm really going to do just kind of like a quick to the point what I recommend, what I don't recommend, you know, no nonsense. And then after that we'll jump back into our usual like trend mood indie makeup posts. One final thing, I'm wearing one of the new Fenty lipsticks. I did pick up two of the new shades. I got the Hot Pink, which is the shade. What shade are you? Unlocked. Hot Pink. I haven't worn this one yet, but I'm pretty excited. The one I'm wearing right now is the Coral, and this is the shade Unattached. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh. I didn't pick up the purple because like I said in my weekly wow that week, I don't know if I would ever actually wear a purple, but I know those two shades I'll get a lot of use out of, especially during the summer. Like those are the like the two perfect summer lipstick shades. So jumping straight into the 21 days of beauty, I am skipping the first three days, March 17th, 18th, and 19th because I personally do not have any experience with those products and wouldn't really recommend anything. The first day that I'm very interested in and will definitely be placing an online order for these, like early in the morning when I wake up for work, is March 20th and this Wednesday, the day that this video is actually going out. So today, the steel are the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots. I see that they have soft ochre and painterly pictured. I don't know if it's for every paint pot or if it's just those two shades. Like, they know their audience and they know what shades are most likely used as uh, eyeshadow bases and they're half off and they're going to be eleven dollars oh yes they do have a limit of two per person so i'm going to be picking up two so i'm going to be picking up two i think i'm going to do one painterly and one soft ochre because i do know painterly that's the more like a cool toned one looks a lot better on me when i have some color to my skin like in the summer and then soft ochre looks much better just as the undertone underneath my base when I'm a little bit lighter. So I do want to pick up one soft ochre and one painterly because you're literally, they're literally half off. You're getting two for the price of one. I've panned two of them already. They are not only my favorite eye base, but they last forever. Like honestly, they're worth the 22 for me, but if I can get them at 11, I'm getting them at 11. So I will be placing an online order with Ulta that day because I do have another couple of items that I really wanted to pick up. Um, so I'm going to throw those in my cart, check out first thing. It's the first thing I recommend. The next day, March 21st, they have the Becca Backlight First Light and Ever Matte Primer. I've tried the First Light Primer and I didn't really like it. I think that's the one in the purple bottle. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I wasn't a huge fan of that. I wouldn't really recommend you pick that up. But if it is a primer that you like, it's going from $39 to $19. So that's kind of insane. So... The next day, they have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette for $24.50 down from $50 or $49. I think that's pretty good. I have the Chocolate Gold and I do like it, but I rarely reach for it. I'll put that out there. It has some gorgeous shades, especially that green and the hot pink. Amazing. If you're looking for... It's not an all-in-one palette. You're not going to get one look out of it. You're going to go in there for specific, you know, bright glittery shades. If you're looking for that kind of companion palette, this would be a good time to jump on it. $24.50 I think is a great deal for that palette. But just so you know, like I also have the palette and while I enjoy it, 
I'm not reaching for it that often. The next day, March 23rd, I see that they have the Brow Wiz from ABH. I feel like there's like a couple of products they do for every 21 Days of Beauty, one being the Brow Wiz, and then one the next Saturday being the Stilo uh, Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I don't like the um, pencil from ABH. I love the Dip Brow. I actually am about to pan a Dip Brow, so I'm looking to maybe purchase another one, but... I know this is a great deal for people who do like the Brow Wiz. Again, I believe that they have a two per person limit, but that's going to be $10.50 each down from $21. So if that is something you like, this would be a good time to stock up. And brow products are really good to stock up on because they're easy to store. They don't really go bad that fast. And it's always bad like when you run out of a brow product and you're like in the morning and you're trying to get ready. You're like, what do I do? <laughs> You can definitely multitask, but I'm just saying, if it's on sale and you can stock up, I would recommend, if that is your holy grail product, have a backup. I'm skipping days March 24th and March 25th because I don't have any experience with those products. The next day, March 26th, they have the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Trio on sale for $14.50. I think that's a pretty good deal. You are getting uh, three little highlighters in here. I don't know if everyone can use each shade, which, I mean, that's great because it does have a great shade range, but I'm just saying, if you're really pale, you're not going to be able to use all the shades. If you're really deep, you're not, you might not be able to use all the shades as highlighter. So I would take that into consideration. Um, I do have experience using Ofra highlighters, and they are incredible, but I do think they are a bit overpriced. So if they had, like, a single highlighter... As one of these deals I might pick it up but looking at these shades I know I'm not going to use all of them so I know even the 1450 wouldn't be worth it if I'm not going to use everything. The next day March 27th we have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer for $21. I tried a sample of this and I thought it felt really nice but I always thought like that's too much money. That's too expensive too expensive so I don't think I'm going to pick it up. I'm looking at my primer drawer right now. I've got plenty. So, eh, eh, do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. I'm also going to skip March 28th, 29th, and 30th. Oh, no, not the 30th. So on the 30th, they have the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I've tried a couple of minis. I've actually been getting minis whenever I go to or place an online Sephora order. And the minis last a long time, and I actually really like that liner. $11 is an awesome price for a full size. So, I was debating whether or not I'll try to go to an Ulta that day to pick up one or two of those just to have as backups, because I actually don't have any eyeliner backups right now, working through my last couple. So that's a great deal for that liner. I really recommend it. It is a great black liner. Um, again, I think there is also a two per person limit on that. And if I'm being like really honest, nothing during the last week interests me. Like I see some Lime Crime palettes that are just like meh. I see some single shadows from Urban Decay, which I still think it's a lot of money for a $10 single shadow. Like, They do have the Too Faced bronzers on sale, which I would recommend those. My first bronzer was actually a Too Faced bronzer, so if you're interested in that, they're going to be $15. I think $15 is a great deal for the amount of product you're getting in the Too Faced bronzer, so that's really the only thing I would recommend during this entire last week. And I believe that's it for the actual 21 days. The one that I'm definitely jumping on are the MAC Paint Pots and maybe, maybe not the Stila liner. Jumping real quick to the Hot Buys, there are a couple that I would recommend. The first one is the original Lorac Pro Palette. This is the Pro 1. I always reach for this whenever I'm traveling, whenever I need like a solid neutral look. It's going to be on sale for $26. That's pretty good. It's down from 44 and I know whenever you buy it, you do get a full um, eye primer. They have a really great eye primer. I've never purchased it separately. It always comes with one of their palettes, but it's a really great primer. So if you're interested in the Lorac formula or in that palette, I would recommend picking it up for the 26. The other product that I would recommend is the ABH Blush Trio. These are on sale for $18 and they have all five shades on sale. If you missed my what is it nine pan 19 i'm currently panning one of those and i'm realizing it's got a lot of product and it goes a long way i'm wearing the peachy one today which is the one that i'm panning and i love it honestly it's been the the blush that i've used practically every day for the past few months and it always looks gorgeous it always looks nice 18 is a decent price Honestly, I would recommend checking your local tj maxx because that's where I found mine and I only had to pay ten dollars for mine 
So I would recommend doing that. Um, 18 is not a bad price, but honestly, if you're interested, I would say check a Marshalls, check a TJ Maxx, because whenever I go, they have a full shelf of just all of these blush trios there. Okay, and I think that is it for the 21 Days of Beauty. I'm actually really excited for those MAC Paint Pots. I think this is the first time they've incorporated those into one of these sales, and I think a lot of people are going to jump on it. With the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty out of the way, I want to jump into something that I found Trend Mood kind of announce on Twitter. So, I know everyone is aware of uh, store credit cards. I've always avoided credit cards. I only have one and it's with my bank. And it's technically not a credit card. It's a card, it's like not a prepaid card, but it's a card I used to build my credit because it was kind of smashed by my student loans. <laughs> Fun. So Sephora is deciding to come out with a credit card. So they're going to come out with a Sephora credit card, a Visa credit card, and Visa signature credit card. It looks like cardholders will also earn rewards in addition to regular rewards. I'm really on the fence about this. I'm thinking purely from a credit standpoint. Maybe this could also help me build my credit because I know I already purchase from Sephora fairly often. And if this is something I could just use to buy something and then pay it off by the end of the month and just, you know, give me that extra boost, that might be good since I already know I'm purchasing from Sephora fairly often. On the other hand, it is a store credit card and there, I, I really, what I want to do is like sit down and actually read everything about it once it's fully announced. I don't want to just jump in and sign up for something because like I said, I've never done anything fiscally irresponsible other than my student loans. But I really want to be fully informed when it comes to this. So I know Ulta has a credit card. I've never been tempted by that. I've never been interested in it. But I, I, I do tend to spend more money at Sephora than I do at Ulta. So I'm on the fence about this. I really want to do some more research, get a little bit more informed. Let me know down below what you think about Sephora coming out with a credit card and whether or not you're interested. Okay, so back to trend mood and other new releases we saw what the blue bloods palette blue bloods blue blood blue blood yes blue blood it is singular what the blue blood palette looks like from jeffree star and i i'm entranced oh my god it looks gorgeous and i'm very happy that more than half of the shades are blue because everyone was kind of like what if it's just a neutral with a pop of blue no no it's it's actually blue. I, oh my god, and the packaging is getting me. The way he described it as like a coffin slash like a very nice jewelry box, like please like, give it to me, please. Oh. When do you come out? March 29th, so I'll set a reminder on my phone. I know he tends to drop them when it's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which I just plan to take my lunch break at work around that time, <laughs> and I do it on my phone. Yes, I, I'm not, honestly, I'm not even looking at the rest of the collection because who cares? I'm just getting the palette. BH Cosmetics is collabing with It's My Ray Ray again for a new palette. We don't actually see the palette yet. We're just seeing a look that she has on, which looks very purpley. Uh, I don't lean towards purples that often, so I would definitely have to see what the palette looks like. Um, I did see her previous palette and I wasn't super into it, so I never picked it up. But BH is a great brand. I love a lot of their palettes, so I'm definitely keeping my eye out to see what the actual palette looks like. Ooh, face palette. Smashbox is coming out with another new face palette, and I love their face palettes. Their last one, the Ablaze face palette uh, with the peachy blushes, has my heart. That's my go-to summer palette, and I love peach blushes. Peach blushes are the bomb for me. This one has a peach and a pink blush, and it's called the Cali Kissed Face Palette. This is gorgeous, but I know I don't need it. I want it, but I don't need it. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to wait for this to like go on sale. It'll be like on my radar a while from now, because that's going to be $39. I already have a face palette from them. I have to talk myself out of this one. Like, I really want it, but I need to talk myself out of this one. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure I mentioned this back when Kylie first came out with single shadows, but not interested. Like, they literally look just like ColourPop shades, and I'm sure ColourPop does it better for cheaper. 
yeah, so um, while there are certain things from Kylie that I love, her concealer, I would not recommend getting the, sh the singles. Like, some of the palettes, maybe. Singles, no, you can definitely get them better elsewhere. So we actually got confirmation that the ColourPop Disney Villains palette is coming out, and it is coming out March 21st. I don't know if I'm gonna like buy this like immediately when it comes out. It's $22. Uh, I don't know. I don't th I don't think this is something that's gonna immediately sell out and if, if you think differently let me know down below. But it, I am interested in the palette. I think it looks very cute but I don't know. Like I did purchase the Just My Luck palette which I did like. It's a really cute green palette. If you missed the video I did on that I will throw it up in the cards. But I, I want to do a more of a deep dive into the new releases ColourPop has before I place my next order because it kind of hurt me a little bit inside to pay like $5 for shipping on a $12 palette. So this one I know is a little bit more and since it's already $22, I might as well pick up a couple more things to hit the $30 free shipping mark. So I don't want to just buy this and then pay the shipping, you know, blah blah blah. I want to actually pick out some more ColourPop new things to try out. So let me know down below, is there anything else that's new from ColourPop that you've tried out or if you want to see me try out? Because I think, other than the Just My Luck palette, the last things I tried out were the new foundation. I'll put that up in the cards, but it was almost as bad as the Milani one that I just tried out. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna leave it there for this week's weekly wish list or washout. Let me know down below what you thought of these products, particularly that Sephora credit card that's coming out. And if you're gonna pick up anything during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, thank you again for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.